Hello everybody, this is Diane and I am starting work on a new journal. Um, I'm using this gorgeous vintage book cover that's marbled and it has leather on the spine and the corners. Um, I, I will probably put metal corners on because the leather has worn away and exposed some chipboard there but it's just beautiful and look at the end paper so pretty this book was called Stoddard's Lectures and there was a series of them um, and this he traveled apparently and then when he came home he did had photos or like slides and lectures about his trips so this one is Sicily, Genoa, and whatever that is, the Angadine. Never heard of that. Um, so that's what I am using to make this book. It is going to be a book about journaling or writing. I'm using Mrs. Cog's, several of Mrs. Cog's kits. Writing and journaling is one of them, and it has pretty pictures like she always uses and journaling and writing phrases and sayings so these kind of things and there's another oh journaling journal and paper crafting definitions and they look like this it's two pages of definitions that about things that have to do with our journal making and paper crafting so that they're really fun i'm also using antique papery kit. Um, I forgot. Let me see. I have it written down here what it's called. Altered Antique. By, um, antique Papery. I'm not going to link everything in this. I will link those uh, shops when I do a flip through of the finished journal. So all I've done so far is um, cut, get my papers selected and cut and organized into their um, signatures. I chose this image to be on the cover. I'm not sure what I'm going to put <clears throat> behind her at this point. I have this cut, but I don't... I would have to trim her down, like round the corners and stuff. So I haven't really decided that yet, how I'm going to arrange that, but <coughs> I was going to name it Memoir, but then I decided to just use this because I just thought it was quirky and cute words. So this is just going to be a book of words. I thought that was fun. So what we're going to do today is work on the front pages of the signatures. So I have scrapbook paper for that, and I've already selected pieces for the first one. So we'll glue these things down and then maybe we'll uh, work on the second one also. So what I have here is one of the images from Mrs. Cog's crafts. Um, some coffee dyed tracing paper. This is one of the little pieces that I ran through my uh, embosser. Uh, my big shot with the embossing folder. And then I rubbed um, one of Tim Holtz's pink inks. I forgot which one, and I thought it would be right on top here, but it's not. And then I rubbed um, Vintage Photo over it, and that'll be on there. Uh, Tim Holtz Ephemera Piece of Daisies. And then, um, I love this, don't believe everything you think. You know, sometimes we tell ourselves things that aren't true. This is, um, I have a bunch of pieces that were printed from various digitals and I can use them in the book for journaling spots and things like that. So this is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. It was half of this page. And I like that the blues bring out the blues in the paper. And this is from Bohemian Crafting. She has um, a digital of numbers and alphabets. All right, so I already had these arranged, so let's just start gluing them down. We will start with this tracing paper. So 
So the front page, the front of each signature is just going to be a collaged page. Um, I want to have as much journaling space as I can in the book since it is a book about journaling and writing. So that's why there's going to be collage on the back page, back of the signature, but it will have a collage, um, journaling spot also. Where did I have that? Did I have it like this? Yes, I did. I messed it up already. goes down. That might be up a little higher than I originally had it, but that's okay. conditioner came on just before I started my video and that's noisy so I closed the door it blows in here of course there's a vent in here but it's noisy in the other room but it shut off and it's hot inked around this already with vintage photo ink. I'm not sewing any of these things on because I don't want to interfere with writing on the other side. Okay, there's that. So then I'm going to have this journaling spot here decorated with one of the Bohemian Crafting alphabet tags, and then I'll put this up here. Don't believe everything you think. There are tags, little tags, and circles, probably about two inch circles, that go with the uh, uh, antique papery kit. So I'll have those to decorate with. So between all the Mrs. Cog stuff and the antique papery stuff, there's plenty to decorate because I'm only making the one journal this time. So that page signature cover is done. Unless I add lace to the edge. I don't know if I'll add it to the front page, like the 
first page or maybe this page. We'll see. But I will add some sort of lace or trim there. Um, so for this, I already have images chosen for the next two covers. I used a piece of my embossed um, card stock on the front on the first one, so I want to use some on all of them. Maybe I'll use my embossed classine bags in these journals too. In this journal, the one and only journal. some polka dots. See if I can tear this. select a word. I think she's writing about her hopes and dreams. So I'll add that. And I'll just look for a flower. lavender there brings out the lavender of her blouse but I'm gonna have to rearrange again because I don't like it there this picture is bigger I think I like it like that Now I need a journaling spot on the next page, and I like this. It looks like crumpled up notebook paper. This is left over from one of my kits from Studio 28E, I think, when I did one of when I was on her design team. I don't know which kit, but the buttons, I think that I think that was hers. There goes the air conditioner again. I hope that's not too loud. I don't want the buttons. So I can either use this piece or cover that with a piece of collage. Might as well trim this piece while I'm here. Quote, for every minute spent organizing, an hour is earned. You can make anything by writing. Can't judge a book by its cover. Every day is a fresh start. Let's use that one. And I'm just going to pick, I don't have all the, the letters cut. I only cut out one page. I'm just going to pick a random, shuffle them up and pick one. 
B. Oh. <laughs> Ended up with A and B, okay? So I can put the B over the buttons and just put this up here. All right, now we can ink some things and glue some things. I don't want the B there because I don't want it to be like ABC. We'll just get that one. Fresh start. See? Well, I did have a B here, but I don't know how it got changed because I thought the B could go for the believe and the F for fresh, but I ruined that. The fan blew. I had a fan on before the air conditioner came on and it blew my papers. And so I must have grabbed the wrong letter but it's no big deal. I didn't really want the letters to mean anything. Might as well ink this. This is partially off camera, but I'm just inking. And I need to do something with this. Oh, and I have to have tracing paper behind her. Um, okay, so I put a little pink on the first one. I'm going to try a little lavender if I have some lavender ink on that kind of go with the lavender colors we have going on. Hmm. I used to have lavender ink. I'm not a big fan of purple, so when my lavender ink dried up, I probably didn't replace it. But I thought I had some in Tim Holtz. I don't really want grape. That's the Concord, but let's see how dark it is. Mm, it's not very dark. Let's try it. And I thought the pink was too pink, so that's why I put um, Distress or vintage, vintage Photo over it, so that's what I'll do here, too. Just gives it a little hint of purple underneath the Vintage Photo. I don't know if you can see that, but I think the sun just went behind the cloud. Okay, so we had that up there, this here, this here, and this here, right? Now, my coffee dyed tracing paper. This ended up being too dark and probably too brittle to use as a page in my journal, so I just use it for this kind of stuff. I've got several pages that I did <clears throat> all at the same time, and it was the first time I had done um, tracing paper in this oven, and it was too dark. The oven was too hot. So, there. We have it. There it is. Let's glue. I was thinking I could make the picture on the front a tuck spot, a little pocket, but I decided to just make it a collage, just a decorative page.
Don't you love that crinkly sound? And I love these images from Mrs. Cox of ladies writing in their journals or diaries. For this page, we'll glue this one down first. There's another one. Shall we do one more? She looks very dreamy. What shall I write? Inspiration. Diary. Penny for your thoughts. I like that one. Because I wonder what she's thinking. Paper is a little harder to tear. But we did it. Get some of those burnt pieces off. But I do like those the dark that's left.
Any for your thoughts? I might just use one of a scrap of this with all the flowers on it. See what kind of flower we have for it. She's got yellow on her sleeves. I like that one. What was the first one? It wasn't that, so okay, we'll use that. Now, on the back. We have just this page. I don't know what this came with. It's just a leftover sheet that I have. And we need a quote. think because this will be the very last page in the book I'm going to put on. The bottom line is, make this a little shorter, and I use the letter G. photo over it, just lightly. We're off to a good start with this journal. but I guess it helps a little. Alrighty, I'll put my great Concord ink away. start gluing. So first again goes the tracing paper. Good 
this should be a theme that is near to all of our hearts since we are junk journalers or people who are interested in junk journals. Whether we make them or buy them to use them or even just collect them. But I hope that you would write in the journals that you buy or make. Make sure these edges are glued down. I have to say that I have not been writing in my journal and it's very unusual because I have written in journals for years and for the last, I don't know how many years, I, I wrote pretty much every day. And after I moved, I just haven't been. I had started in my chocolate themed journal, which I absolutely love. It seems dark in here all of a sudden. Oh, you know what? I don't have my ceiling light on. There, I've been working without my light. Sorry about that. I'm not going to start over again. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll start journaling again. I hope so. There's been so much to write about, you know? Selling my house and moving and getting settled here and then all the coronavirus stuff. I don't think I've written a single thing about that. Because I get my journal out a couple of times I have and start to write something and I never finish. I never get more than a couple sec sentences and then I put it down and don't pick it up again. But I think making this journal about writing and journaling might inspire me to actually get going again in it. So I have a lot of journals that I haven't even started yet. I can't quit now. Started writing in, I mean. I have journals that I purchased from other people, journals that people have given me, journals I've made. I, I have sold most of the journals that I made that I didn't start writing in yet, but I think I kept at least one. I have stamps I know that I can use um, ink pen stamps like fountain pens and books. I, have, I think I have a couple stamps that have books. So uh, I know I'll have stamps that I can use in these books. I just have so much material in, in this book. I keep saying these books because I usually make multiples, but this is only one. So I'll probably revisit this theme again at some point. I guess I just felt like keeping it a little simpler this time. I mean, the journal itself is going to have stuff going on in it, but if I'm only doing one instead of two or three, it makes it simpler for me. Oh, drop it glue side down, of course. gotta clean my mat. Okay, so we have three signature covers done. I did 
did that one. And that one. And that one. I like them. I think that's a good start. It, that's the last one. The bottom line. Now, I wanted to look at my embossed um, glassine bags and see did I make enough. I have the tufted one, that scroll one, that's gorgeous, and the daisy one. Yep. I have one for each signature. So, do I want to ink them or not? This one is debossed. I had it in there so that the back side got the embossing. Let's see if I did that on any of the others. Yep, this one is debossed. This one is embossed. Well, I guess I better pay attention to stuff like that, huh? going to trim. I have some of these large tags that are coffee dyed. If I trim them, they can fit in there. I'm going to trim off that curled edge. Maybe. See if I trimmed off enough. Yes, it's great. Looks like I'm cutting off a half inch. hoping that by putting these coffee dye cards inside the bags that the embossing will show up. This one isn't as deeply embossed even though it's one of the deeper folders, but you can see the tufting on it. Isn't that pretty? This one was deep. It was very nicely done. And so is this one. But we can't leave them like that, can we? We have to decorate them. So, we've got our little circles from Antique Papery. We've got the words and we've got definitions and more Mrs. Cog's images, of course. The little tags from antique papery. I might make little pockets to stick them in. This is from Mrs. Coggs. It looks like a Harrison Fisher. I was thinking of fussy cutting her out and using her somewhere. I like the red. The red would show up nicely through the bag.
pen. She has a pen in her hand, and that's a definition. Um, the first definition is quill feather with quill pointed and split in two sections for writing. And she has a feather pen in her hand. So, we will use that. And let's see, I think I should put some ledger paper or te no, not text because I don't want it to compete with that, but ledger paper. I'm going to go grab an old ledger. It's called a journal. I think it's one of my more recent acquisitions. Sorry, <laughs> picking stuff up off the floor. Okay, so this one says journal and it's got writing in it in black ink. August 1952. So it's some kind of, it keeps keeping track of payments. And there is some blank at the back, but I think I want to use a page that's written on. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, why not? Let's try it. And instead of just tearing it, I think I will cut it to the right, the same size and round the corners and just have it completely cover it. So it's three and a half by six. Might as well do a few while we're at it. This one has dates and numbers. corner by six. Save those little scraps. I think they'll cut better if I have all three of them together. So this corner that was already rounded isn't quite the same. Let's see if we can fix that. Yep, okay. And maybe a little piece of fabric or lace. a thin lace it doesn't show up very nice very well but it's a subtle look and sometimes I like subtle sometimes I don't know if this will make that much difference because the background is so dark anyway but I do want to do this
glue this down. I'll just use a glue stick. Still not sold on that lace, but we'll see. on this too. Maybe I want it like that so this covers up part of the blank area up there. lace right on the dark picture and maybe add a little lace daisy let's see how that looks yeah I think that's what it needed There. I like it. The glue is still wet, so I'm not going to put it in a, a bag yet, but it will go in a bag and then we'll find a page to put it on. it on this page because it's kind of a, a red dot there with her red dress and there will be well this you can journal on but I if I glue it on as a tuck spot there will be another journaling a place to put more journaling card or paper behind it and I want to know if I need to add something to the bag itself.
Maybe that. I have another corner rounder that cuts it smaller, but I don't see it right now. So this cuts both of those sizes too, half inch and quarter inch. So just use the quarter inch. I was going to let myself work in here till 12 o'clock because I have other things to do. We'll just finish up this video. We're almost done. I don't know if I want to run some ink over this or not. I don't think so. Maybe just on the edge. Look how it makes the embossing stand out. We're going to do it. We're going to go for it. Oh, wow. through there. And I'll probably put a tab, a fabric tab or a paper tab on that card. There. Well, I'm happy with how the journal is going so far. So um, I will put something behind there for journaling. It will probably be just a folded <clears throat> piece of paper, not, not a card or tag. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so I'm happy that we got going on this journal today. And maybe I'll come back to it a little bit later tonight, but today's Saturday. It's not a work day, and this is a project for my shop, but it is still, excuse me,